please help me welcome up Dr. Cecilia Chet. Thank you for inviting me, Lucas, for speaking over here. The first part everybody thinks about a dentist is, now I'm going to start talking about water picking. How many times did you floss today? <laughs> did you or no? <laughs> so that's all we end up talking about, flossing, water picking, and brushing. Um, but nobody's actually taught, who has taught, who has been taught about brushing your teeth? Who's been taught about flossing or taking the time to water pick? Um, and the main part for me being a dentist is not just taking down teeth or cutting down teeth. My thing is to encourage health for my patients. Uh, I really value what I do because I have the channel to help people get healthy from the mouth. The first thing that we, when we're born, the first thing we do is the baby does is puts it something in this mouth and that's how we feel things. This is an entry to many things in our, for us our food, we taste, uh, we take our supplements through our mouth. So that's the first opening that we have to take care of. A healthy mouth, I'm sorry, I didn't want to push it. A healthy mouth is an index to your healthy gut. Uh, I, when I see a patient's mouth, I don't see that they have cavities or just focus on the gums. But I do focus on how, what it tells me or how they take care of their health too. Uh, like a healthy mouth is a mouth that doesn't have any toxic burdens. A toxic, can you hear me in the back? Because a healthy mouth, toxic burdens could be like metals, mercury fillings. It could be root canals, which is a questionable. And we have fluoride that we use. So there are many environmental factors too that we can use which could be toxic. A second thing that can be is an unhealthy gum which we called about gingivitis or gum disease, that is what we call. The third is cavity, which we all know about. Decay, caries, but cavity is the second largest disease after heart disease. Now, why are we having so many cavities in our mouth when we have fluoride everywhere in this United States? Um, there are a lot of countries, especially the underdeveloped countries, do not have fluoride but their decay index is very low compared to a, to, a, for a, to the country like we are living here. So why is it? Is it our food? Is it what we eat? Or is it because we don't brush? Because there are countries which do not use brush. Every kid doesn't use brush. I grew up in a country in India where we were encouraged growing up to chew on neem, bark of a neem bark. And that I, was, I thought my grandma was crazy to tell me to chew bark as I went to dental school. You're supposed to use a brush in 45 degrees to brush your teeth. How can you not, how can a neem do it? doesn't have a 45 degree can brush your teeth. So it is, um, with me and integrated, being an integrated dental solution, I was mentored by Dr. Mann, who carried me through this whole process too. So I really was blessed to be able to take care of patients' teeth, uh, not just their teeth, but also their health. Um, they, they were talking to Lucas one time, and he was asking me, how do you take care of teeth? Like I was talking about oil pulling and he was like, I've never heard about oil pulling. Oil pulling is an Ayurvedic way of taking care of your teeth. Uh, it is actually not just teeth, it's actually detoxing your system. Where you take a tablespoon of coconut oil, squish your mouth for a minute, for 15 minutes, first thing in the morning, before you eat or drink, even at two, shouldn't be talking because you don't want your saliva to be disturbed. And that is supposed to detox your system. There's a book written on this too, though, called oil pulling. There's a science behind it, but I see patients who do oil pulling. I myself do oil pulling every day. Uh, it really improves your gum. It actually increases, it diffuses the disease. There's no scientific evidence, so if you start looking up on oil pulling and don't email me that I've never seen, but there's no research. But uh, I think from, from long, back, long history, from Ayurveda, they've been doing it for a long time. So substituting water picking, sorry, combining water picking, I shouldn't say substituting, I'll get it back in dental school, but it is, uh, uh, is including oil pulling as a regimen for you to brush with your brushing, it really makes a marked improvement. Um, there are other things that we, for, like as a dentist, we, look, we forget to look into is how a person's mouth is made up of. 
like the structure. We always hear about this straightening the teeth, lining teeth, but aligning your teeth is not just for aesthetics. There are something underlining it. It's now I'm going to be kicked out. Okay, I'll be kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> sure. well, thank you.